Hello students, today we are going to study model testing of centrifugal pumps. Before manufacturing the large size pump, their models which are in complete similarity with the actual pumps also called prototypes are made. It means that before manufacturing the large size pump, we have to make the prototype of that pumps which are similar to the pumps. Tests are conducted on the models and performance of the prototypes are predicted. The complete similarity between the model and actual pump that is prototype will exist if the following conditions are satisfied. Now we have to see one by one the conditions. The first one is specific speed of model will be equal to specific speed of prototype. So we will write it as specific speed of model will be equal to specific speed of prototype. Now we will write it as ns of model will be equal to ns of prototype as well as if we put the value of ns here that is n under root of q upon hm to the power 3 by 4 of model will be equal to n under root of q upon hm to the power 3 by 4 of prototype. This is the first condition. Now the second condition is tangential velocity which is given as u equals to pi d n upon 60. We have to make this condition for both prototype as well as for the model. So second condition is tangential velocity. Now we know that tangential velocity will be equals to pi d n upon 60. So from this we also know that u is directly proportional to under root of hm. So we will write it as under root of hm will be directly proportional to d into n. So under root of hm upon dn will be equals to constant. So we will write it as under root of hm upon dn for model will be equals to under root of hm upon dn for prototype. This is the second condition. Now we will write the third condition. We know that q is directly proportional to d square and is directly proportional to vf also. So we will write it as q is directly proportional to d square into vf. Now we will solve this that is d square into d into n because vf is directly proportional to u is directly proportional to dn. So it will be equals to d cube into n. Now we will take this value on the left hand side. So it will be equals to q upon d cube n will be equals to constant. So it will be equals to q upon d3 n of model will be equals to q upon d cube n of prototype. This is the third condition. Now the last condition is power of pump power of pump. Now we know that power will be equals to rho into g into q into hm upon 75. Now from this power is directly proportional to q into hm because the remaining values are constant and we know that q is directly proportional to d cube n so we will write it as d cube n into hm. And we also know that under root of hm is directly proportional to dn. So d cube n will remain same. And in place of hm we will write d square into n square. Now power will be directly proportional to d to the power 5 n cube. So p upon d to the power 5 n cube 
will be equals to constant so this will becomes p upon d to the power 5 and to the power cube of model will be equals to p upon d to the power 5 n cube of prototype so that is all about the model testing of centrifugal pump. Thank you very much students.